Hello, Math Champions. Today, we are going to learn about measuring length. Now, what is length? Do you remember? Length is how long, how short, or how tall something is. And what do we use to measure length with? The previous lesson, we have learned that length is measured in meters, M-E-T-R-E-S, and its short form is M. Today, we are going to learn about a new term, and it's called centimeters, okay? So, you can see here, it's made out of two sections, centi and meters. Meters is the same as this one. Can you see both of these words are the same? All that we have added is centi in front. The short form for this word is cm. Okay, so meters is m, centimeters is cm. Now, what's the difference between these two terms that we use to measure length with? Meters is used to measure something large or long or big, okay? Something large. And centimeters is used to measure something small, okay? Something smaller, something shorter, we measure in centimeters, okay? Now, what tool do we use to measure length with. I'm going to introduce you to the ruler. I have here with me a picture of a centimeter ruler. This particular ruler is 15 centimeters in length. It has numbers from 0 all the way to 15 cm. Okay? You might have one of these rulers at home and you can use it to measure the length of short objects such as maybe a pencil or a marker. Okay? It can also be used to draw straight lines. But now, if you want to measure longer objects, you will need to use a longer ruler. And so this is a 30 cm ruler. It has numbers going from zero all the way to 30. So this ruler is actually longer than the 15 cm ruler, okay? But what do you use to measure very long objects like a table or maybe the length of an elephant, for example. You will need to use a meter ruler. Now, this is a picture of a meter ruler. This is not its actual length, all right? But this ruler is exactly one meter long. How long is it compared to a 15 centimeter ruler? You may ask, this is how long it is. So this is the meter ruler right here. And this here, this small little thing, okay, is the length of the 15 cm ruler you saw just now. Okay, this is how long it is. This is 15 cm, while this is one meter long. Okay, now that you have seen how rulers look like, let's start measuring using these rulers. All right, in activity sheet 5.2a, we are going to use your paper ruler to measure the length of four ribbons. Ribbon A, B, C, and D. Where are these ribbons? They are right here. Take a good look at them. This is the ruler we are going to use to measure the lengths of the ribbons. Okay, let's begin. Starting with ribbon A. Now, the first step is to make sure that the end of ribbon A is at the zero mark, indicated by the zero. So after that, you are going to trace all the way to the other end of ribbon A and read off from the ruler. What number is this? 10. So what is the length of ribbon A? 10 centimeters long. Okay, now ribbon B, make sure that ribbon B, one end is at the zero mark. Yes, it is. And let's trace all the way to the end and read off from the ruler. How long is it? 12 centimeters long. So let's write down 12. Ribbon C, make sure that ribbon C is at the zero mark. Yes, one end of it is at the zero mark. Let's go to the other end. Yes, and then read off. What is this number? Six centimeters. So ribbon C is six centimeters long. Finally, ribbon D. Check that ribbon D is at the zero mark. Yes, it is. Now let's go to the other end and read off from the ruler. How long is it? Four centimeters, okay? Now we have the lengths of all four ribbons. Let's move on to the next question. All right, now we are asked to arrange the four ribbons from the shortest to the longest. So looking at these four ribbons, which is the shortest ribbon? It is ribbon D, correct? Because it's the smallest number. So let's write down ribbon D, not four, ribbon D. Okay, now next, 
which is the next shortest ribbon it's ribbon C so right now ribbon C over here at six centimeters long which is the next shortest ribbon it will be ribbon A at 10 centimeters long so ribbon A at 10 centimeters long which makes ribbon B the longest okay so let's write ribbon B over here so let's check again so it will be ribbon D the shortest ribbon C and then ribbon A and then finally ribbon B okay now next question Final question asks us to arrange the four ribbons from the longest to the shortest, which is something like arranging from the largest to the smallest. Okay, so which is the largest number here? It is 12 cm, which is also the longest. Okay, so let's write ribbon B. After that comes ribbon A at 10 cm, and then ribbon C at 6 cm. So let's write down ribbon C. And finally, the last one, the shortest, is ribbon D over here. Okay, let's move on to the next activity. In activity sheet 5.2b, we will be using our ruler to draw straight lines. The first line is 4 centimeters long and they have already helped you by drawing some dotted lines. But we are still going to use the ruler to learn how to draw the straight line. Okay, first thing you are going to do, find the zero mark and place the zero mark at one end of the line. Okay, so can you see the zero mark is at one end of the line and then make sure that you use your fingers to hold the ruler straight with the line. Okay, make sure that it's nice and straight, not like this and not like that. Okay, make sure that it's nice and straight. After that, you are ready to draw. Okay, find a pencil or pen, place your pencil at the zero mark and draw along the ruler okay until you stop at the number four because four cm so stop at four okay after that release the pencil and release the ruler and you have a line that is four centimeters long let's label it four centimeters just write four cm okay next question now they're asking you to draw a line that is six centimeters long once again they have helped you a little bit Find your zero mark and place the zero mark on one end of the line like this. Make sure that you use your fingers to make sure that the ruler and the line are straight with each other. After that, you are ready to use your pencil. Take your pencil. Where do you place it? On the zero mark. Draw the line until you reach six. Where's the number six? Stop here and let go. And you have a line that is six centimeters long. Are we done? Nope. Please write six centimeters okay make sure you label your lines so we know how long the lines are okay next question the question now asks for a line that is 5 cm long you notice now that there is no more dotted line to help you but that is perfectly fine it actually makes it easier okay let me show you how find the zero mark place the zero mark anywhere on the piece of paper and use your hand to hold it down hard and well after that you are ready to draw the straight line place your pencil on the zero mark not over here make sure it's on the zero mark and draw until you reach the number five and then let go after you let go you have a line that is five cm long label it five cm okay and final question asks for a line that is nine cm long same thing what do we do find the zero mark over here place it down on the paper and use your hands to hold it down properly place your pencil over here at the zero mark and draw your straight line all the way until you reach nine after you reach nine let go of the ruler let go of the pencil and you have a line that's nine cm long label it and you are done okay let's move on to the next activity Welcome to activity sheet 5.2c where we are going to use a ruler to measure the lengths of several objects as you can see here. Okay, starting with the first object which is the lollipop uh, is blank cm long. Okay, so how long is the lollipop? Let's make sure that the lollipop, one end of the lollipop is at the zero mark. Yes, it is. Trace until the other end and you see 
Read off from the ruler, what number do you see? 7 cm. So the lollipop is 7 cm long. Okay, next object is the toothbrush. Make sure that the toothbrush, one end is at the zero mark. Trace all the way until we reach the other end. Now, read off from the ruler, what number do you see? 15 cm. So let's write 15. And finally, we have the spoon. Okay, make sure the spoon, one end is at the zero mark. Yes, it is. Trace all the way to the end and read off from this ruler. So what, how long is it? It is 10 centimeters long. Okay, now comes the comparison part. Okay, question D. The blank is the shortest. So you see this word here, shortest? They are looking for the shortest length object. So which of these objects is the shortest? Is it the spoon, toothbrush, or lollipop? It will be the lollipop, okay? So let's write down lollipop over here and move on to the next question. Question E. The toothbrush is blank cm longer than the lollipop. Okay, what kind of question is this? It's a comparison question and how do I know that? Because of this word, longer than. If you have forgotten how to solve comparison questions, please refer to the other video I made for you on comparison which is also found on this channel. Okay, now look here. The toothbrush is how many cm longer than the lollipop? Okay. Using the part hole model that I've taught you in the other video, this part minus this part will give you the longer than, okay? Which also means the longer object minus the shorter object will always give you how much longer, okay? So in this case, how long is the toothbrush? 15 cm minus the shorter object, which is 7, will give you 8. So the toothbrush is 8 cm longer than the lollipop, okay? Now, let's move on to the second question. Question F. The spoon is blank cm shorter than the toothbrush. Shorter than. So this keyword here will tell you that this is a, also a comparison question. The two things being compared are the spoon and the toothbrush. And looking here, the question asks you how much shorter is the spoon than the toothbrush? So the spoon is the shorter one and the toothbrush is the longer one. This here is how much longer the toothbrush is. We want to know what is this length. How do we find that out? We take the length of the toothbrush minus the length of the spoon. And what is that? The length of the toothbrush is 15 cm minus the length of the spoon. What is the length of the spoon? You've already seen here it's 10 cm. 15 minus 10 will give you 5. So the spoon is 5 cm shorter than the toothbrush. Once again, I'm going to remind you if you don't know what I just did, watch my video on comparison also on this channel. Okay? Now, let's move on to question G. Question G asks you to arrange the objects from the longest to the shortest. So longest over here and shortest over here. So which is the longest item? Over here is the toothbrush. Let's write down toothbrush. So that one was 15 cm long, making it the longest item. Which is the next longest item? It is the spoon, right? So let's write down spoon. And which is the shortest item? Lollipop, okay? This is a simple question. And that ends the activity sheet 5.2c. I'll see you in the next video.